Hi, this is John V6EY with more on exploring GNU Radio. And uh, what I've done in this video is I've actually set up an AM radio station of sorts. It's a classical music station uh, broadcasting on 150 kilohertz uh, on my computer. <laughs> and uh, what I wanted to do is learn the ins and outs of AM modulation which is fairly straightforward and uh, so what I've done is set up a series of uh, of uh, control blocks in GNU radio and uh, I've added to it uh, the ability to play a recording of some classical music audio and uh, transmit that so that we can listen to it and uh, and see how the whole AM modulation thing works so what we've got is we've got a choice of playing an audio file and uh, that audio file is, in this case, classical music. And then translating that audio file into a modulated signal, uh, which uh, is shown here as a modulated signal. You can see the audio peaks varying on the uh, carrier frequency. And you can see the spectrum of the modulated signal. In this case, I've let it go out to uh, 10 kilohertz of, uh, of bandwidth on either side. And we can also play around with trapezoid diagrams, trying to figure out uh, if we're over-modulating or, or not. Another feature of this program is the ability to switch from audio to tones. So there's an 800 hertz tone, uh, and I'm uh, staying within a modulation index that prevents over-modulation. The trapezoid shows uh, that I'm doing that, and shows uh, it's just a different way of looking at things. and. Uh, there's the pure tone. I can vary the level of the tone from uh, 0 to 1. I can vary the level of the carrier. And let's back this out here. There's the carrier being modulated. I can increase or decrease that. And you can see as you decrease the level of the signal, the modulation level decreases. And as you increase it, it gets stronger, and I've set this up so that it uh, it doesn't overmodulate. Um, and you can see the spectrum of what you're transmitting. And in this program, there's also the choice between suppressed carrier and uh, transmitted carrier. I'm transmitting carrier right now. If I do suppressed carrier, then uh, it doesn't work properly because the uh, envelope of the transmitted audio changes completely. Okay, let's now take a look at the uh, at the basics of uh, of what we've done. This is GNU Radio, and uh, what I'm doing now is I'm making the uh, the code blocks available on my website, so that uh, if you want to download and just play with this yourself or use it as a jumping off point for something different, you can do that. Uh, but basically, we have a carrier, 150 kilohertz carrier. Uh, that is uh, varied with the level control and uh, I chose a sample rate of 480 kilohertz uh, which means that I can very easily run the 150 kilohertz carrier just not to work the computer too hard and so this would be a long wave radio station <laughs> if it was actually on the air and uh, so there's the carrier right there and then I can add to it <coughs> Sorry, either a signal source, which in this case is an 800 hertz tone, or I can play a WAV file, and I've got a 16-bit 48 kilohertz WAV file of some classical music off one of the local radio stations. And uh, I can switch between those if I want to play the, uh, the tone or the audio from the, uh, from the WAV file. And the audio from the WAV file is being uh, uh, filtered, uh, but I'm still keeping a 10 kilohertz bandwidth uh, for the audio before I feed it in. Now, to uh, create a uh, um, transmitted carrier, you have to add a constant to the uh, audio baseband. In this case, I add the constant of 1. And then I multiply the signal with the carrier. And that is what gives you your... Um, your effectively your radio signal you're mixing audio with the uh, carrier to get amplitude modulation and then I'm sending uh, sending that forward I'm using virtual syncs and sources now as you explore GNU radio you'll find a virtual sync is just basically like um, 
a spot on your diagram that you can terminate something with a sink and then use the same ID for the stream and have it show up somewhere else in your diagram without having all sorts of connecting lines. Um, so here we've got effectively, this is the transmission, the uh, audio, either the wave file or the tone, uh, being uh, added uh, to a constant of 1 to get it up uh, so that you can modulate the sidebands properly and have the carrier come through. You mix the two together and out it goes. Then for receiving, I've got a simple uh, uh, receiving filter. Uh, I'm sort of taking a wideband AM signal between 120 and 180 kilohertz, so I'm not really doing much filtering there. And then just putting it into an AC, uh, rather AM demodulator, and uh, bringing the audio out, keeping a 10 kilohertz passband, and sending it to the speakers. So that's basically the whole program. All the rest of it is just um, controls and uh, instrumentation to visualize what's going on. Uh, for example, there's a slider for the carrier level, a slider for the signal level, choosing between suppressed carrier and transmitted carrier, and then a slider for the volume output. So having put all that together, uh, it's then pretty easy to go over to, uh, to the output and just look at the output. Um, it's good to sort of do things with tone because then you can uh, keep things really simple. So this 800 hertz tone basically is what I'm using as my source for modulation right now. And then as that goes and gets mixed with the carrier, you get a transmitted signal, in this case with about 100% modulation. And you can play around with the diagrams and uh, get it to look different ways, but I'm just trying to keep things really simple here. Uh, the spectrum of what you're transmitting, you would expect to see 150 kHz carrier with two 800 Hz sidebands, and that's what we're getting. You can see as we vary the level of the, of the audio programming, we can raise and lower the level of the sidebands. And as we vary the level of the carrier, we can make it a stronger signal or, or a weaker signal. Really, really easy to do controls like this with uh, with GNU Radio. If we switch to suppressed carrier, what we now have is instead of the signal modulating uh, both sides of the uh, carrier, we're basically just getting the signal modulating uh, up and down. That's why it sounds at twice the frequency. Uh, so, to decode this properly, we'd need to inject the carrier at the receiver at the proper frequency. You can play around with that. Uh, uh, the uh, trapezoid diagram is something broadcasters use to try to check the level of modulation. Uh, if, uh, if it's being driven too hard, then you will get uh, spikes at the edge of the trapezoid. Uh, the way this is set up right now, it's not being driven too hard that you can see, you can see 100% modulation. All I'm really doing is just using the XY inputs on this, uh, on this scope diagram. And then switching to audio, this is basically what an AM station looks like. And if we want to uh, modulate less, we can just reduce the level of the signal. Nice and peaceful music. <laughs> so there you go. There's a uh, short video of how to explore GNU Radio. Build yourself an AM transmit simulator. You can use uh, a constant carrier for your frequency. Uh, you have a signal source, a choice of either a, a tone or an, a wave file. Uh, you multiply the carrier times the signal, and basically that's what gives you amplitude modulation. And then you can decode it yourself. And uh, this is just one of the many things you can do. I'm going to play around later on with FM. FM is a lot harder to figure out how to modulate and explain how it's happening because it uses something called exponential modulation. Uh, whereas amplitude modulation is, is much simpler to deal with. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, download the, uh, the flow diagram if you like and play with it yourself. If you're going to play audio, just remember to record some audio. This program is set up right now for 16-bit, 48 kilohertz audio. You can modify that if you have something else. 
but it's useful to uh, create an audio file of say one or two minutes long and just repeat loop it uh, as you play with the system and get it to work. This is John V6EY from Making It Up, Exploring GNU Radio.